Really hard to focus and concentrate when you're in love with four dogs all right here in the room and you're gonna be two in one second. We hear so much about these Ohio puppy meals. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> uh, and, and you too. So we hear about these puppy mill dogs. What happens uh, when they get a little bit older after they've been breeding? It's a wonderful rescue program called Golden Treasures, Golden Retriever Rescue, and it comes to help these beautiful dogs find loving homes. A little later on in their life, and joining us now to talk about this, we want to welcome you both, Kim and Erin. Thank you both from Golden Treasures and these beauties. And Kathy and Sunny, thank you both, your foster families for bringing these beautiful dogs in. Welcome. Thank you. So talk about how, how do you get these beautiful golden retrievers? And they're not, they're not puppies, mm -hmm. obviously. They're a little <laughs> more adult. Yeah. But you really need some foster homes right now. We do, we do. We usually get a surrender from a, from a puppy mill when they are, uh, have finished breeding some of the older female dogs. And so we need loving homes to take care of these puppies. They, they aren't as easy to adopt sometimes because they are older. They're not the, the, the little puppies, but um, they have all the love to give. And, and it's an amazing, rewarding experience. And so. it might be absolutely even more perfect for some people to get a dog that Belle, for instance, is a year. You said Bonnie is eight months. So they still have a lot of life mm -hmm. in them. And then now our, our Ginger and, and what is her name? Rosie. Rosie. How old are they? Ginger's six and Rosie's three. So what I love is it for the for some people, this may be the perfect thing because they don't okay. want a 14 year commitment or longer and they yep. also don't want a puppy. Mm -hmm. So go through those crazy wild puppy stages. Yeah. So this is really ideal for so many people. It is, it is. There's a perfect dog for every home and um, it's the foster homes that we need um, to, to be able to help them adjust, get them into a warm home, help them kind of decompress. It takes a couple weeks for them to really settle in um, and then they're ready to, to start seeing some potential adoptive families after they get you know vetted and groomed and, and we find a nice safe home for them. So obviously we need people to adopt these beautiful dogs, but, but really the foster care is yeah. what you need to get that transition. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the challenges too. Some of these dogs may maybe were not in homes. They could have been in barns or garages or things like that. So what are some of the challenges? So many of them were in barns. In um, barns. So the challenges are they don't know life. They don't know a house. They don't know steps. They don't know to play. A bed. Probably, they don't know right? a TV. They don't know oh. anything. And so the whole world is new to them. Oh. So the challenge is trying to get them socialized when they've had no socialization. Right. And get them ready for their forever home. Mm -hmm. right. So Margaret Dakin, one of our producers, is the one who uh, arranged this, and she adopted through you guys, mm -hmm. and it's been an incredible experience for her, and, and it added to her already two dogs, mm -hmm. and it's been a wonderful <laughs> environment. Talk about some of the things, because you want to get these dogs in a home for foster care that at least have a dog already. Right. We do prefer that they have a, a dog and already. And it doesn't have to be a golden, any no. dog, right? Yeah. Right. Any okay. dog. It just helps with, um, like Kim was saying, the socialization. It helps them adjust and adapt. They've got somebody to follow around. Yeah. Um, we, we do need a, a traditional fence for these dogs so that they can, you know, run free in the backyard. A if, fenced in backyard. Fenced in backyard, yeah. Invisible fences are a, a little, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> it can scare them, right? Yeah. It's, it's an adjustment. It's an adjustment into a home. Adjusting to an invisible fence is a, is a little tricky too. So a, a traditional um, fence is what is what we prefer for these guys. So yeah. And then you don't have other ant coyotes and such right. running in the yard mm -hmm. because True. with an invisible yeah. fence yeah. you can do that. So you're looking for foster families. So how do people apply with Golden Treasures? And you're based out of Summit County, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. but our fosters are um, all over. I'm up in Lake County, uh, Kimsey Kyle. Lake County. County. Mm -hmm. And you've been fostering how many years? Just over 20. 20 and, and on and off, years. not straight through, but yes. <laughs> and I know you said, Sunny, foster failure, because uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> which, which you love, because then that means that then you just keep the dog, yeah. which is yeah. an option, too. If things work out in your home and you fall in love and you just can't part, yep. then it, you can still adopt. It absolutely is. Foster failure is a success as well. So <laughs> <laughs> I love how you, <laughs> I love that. Well, there's so many dogs. And why is this such a crucial time right now? Um, post COVID, there's a lot of the a lot of the breeders had ramped up production because everybody wanted a puppy while they were home. Um, now that all those dogs have been placed, it has slowed down. So they have um, slowed in production from those mills. So a lot of the older dogs, like like Ginger here, you know, they don't need to breed her anymore. Or even the younger ones, they have the demand is not there for the puppies. So they need to find homes for for those dogs. I, I don't know about you, but 
every one of these dogs are so sweet. Their temperament is so amazing. They're, they are just really perfect to yeah. come right into your home. I mean, really, truly, to have four dogs here together and they're all not going crazy. I mean, there's, yeah. these are remarkable, yeah. remarkable yeah. dogs. Yeah, that's the breed. Goldens are very they special. Are, right? <laughs> I, that's what I've had for 28 years. And yeah. I, I, uh, my house is definitely not the same without them. Because yeah. I've always said the golden retriever in my home was the biggest personality in the yeah, house, you yeah. know, and um, there's nothing quite like them. Yeah. But there are other great, wait, wait, we got to get here. Come here. We got to turn her around. <laughs> Bonnie, you, there oh. you go. Look at that face. So Bonnie is only eight months old, so she has a lot of puppy in her still. But yeah, you've been training her, Kathy. I watched you uh, oh, during commercial break, and she is, yeah, she's she a, she's is, a really good uh, they're brain. all a catch and when you say a treasure they are all treasures golden treasures check them out on instagram and also facebook yep. um they're all beautiful yeah. they're amazing so yeah. we're just looking for some foster homes if we could get a few that would be a total success yeah definitely. thank you thank, thank you. you all thank for you. coming in and bringing these beautiful dogs they're all so sweet okay we're nap time right now on national <laughs> napping day which is very appropriate <laughs>